Salute, salute, salute to God, the most high, the creator of everything. Miss Keisha Hart, I may not short my intro too much, but I like your unsolicited advice. And I like the fact that you still rock with me through it all. So I'm going to go ahead and shorten this one for you, you know. So here we go. Please subscribe if you are an independent viewer. Okay. It's a long way from a thousand fam. Hit that subscribe button. Ladies, you're beautiful. Stay spiritual. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And uh, trolls. Only God and your mama can love you. Now, wait for it. Wait for it. Wait for it. One time. Yeah, yeah. I say one time. Yeah. One time for the uncut squad. One time for the gifted family. One time for big bros back up. One time and two salutes to the higher power. Here we go, y'all. All right. Jaguar right. We're going to start with Jaguar right. We're getting back on TD Jakes. Allegedly, here we go. Y'all, more and more stuff keep coming out. Now, y'all may not know who Jaguar right is. Hell, I don't even know who Jaguar right is. But she be speaking, though. She be speaking. And what I mean by she be speaking is no matter who she exposes, she never uses the word allegedly, which means that evidently she got the inside scoop and she know what she's talking about. She never apologizes and she never gets sued. Look up Jaguar Wright. Here we go. Here's a soundbite. Here's a soundbite. Jaguar Wright speaks on Bishop T.D. Jakes attended P.D.'s party. Check this out. Do you think T.D. Jakes was at Puff Daddy's birthday party? <laughs> I, I mean... I, I just... I, I, you know... Do you remember when Bernie Mac played the minister Friday? Yes. That's how I feel about T.D. Jakes. <laughs> like, that's how I see. Oh, Miss Parker, come to pray. She say, do you remember when Bernie Mac played the pastor in Friday? He goes, yes. Well, that's exactly how I feel <laughs> about T.D. Jakes. I, I, but for him to be at a Diddy party? She finna drop a bomb. I don't know. Like, I, I feel the same way about that as I feel about when Tyler Perry came to his church and laid hands on him and he caught the Holy Spirit from Tyler Perry. Tyler Perry is the bishop of what? Okay. <laughs> like, I never, like, and I cut a check for a hundred, and I'm gonna lay my hands on your bishop, and he said, that the, uh, uh, <laughs> and then the bitch said, it's on the fucking internet. He's, ah, he's doing all of this, right? And then there's... Notice she has not used the word allegedly yet, correct? Now, I'm gonna use the word allegedly because allegedly I don't have the amount of money that this sister might have to pay anybody in any lawsuit. So I'm gonna continue to use the words allegedly. But she has great points. She has great points. Very great points. There's a woman on, on, the, on the dais <laughs> screaming, push the baby out! Birth that baby! Push the... I'm like, what? Are we a church? If Bishop Jakes was at a Diddy party, there could only be two reasons. Here we go. Money or sex. Bam. Money or sex. And we already know T.D. Jakes got money. We already know he's one of the most prominent pastors in the country. They are saying this man is the next Billy Graham. You know, how much praise and how much recognition did Billy Graham receive? That's what they're saying about TD Fake. I mean, TD Jakes. Okay, now here's one more clip I want to play. Kevin Hart. Kevin Hart. Shout out to Kevin Hart, because I really didn't like him until now. And this is the boss move. So to back up Cassie, what Kevin Hart did was go and release secret video footage of his first time being invited to a Diddy party after he made it to Hollywood. Like, he was still green to everything. Even in the video, you can see it. Now, this video right here, y'all, I gotta get his brother his props. This is Jamil Peterson on YouTube. It's called Kevin Hart releases sick video footage of him at Diddy's house being forced into a freak off. Y'all, this brother is funny. He's funny. I'm gonna play a couple of sound bites of this brother, but I want y'all to know that everything that Cassie said in that lawsuit, and mind you, P. Diddy settled this lawsuit with Cassie in less than 24 hours. 
So there was something there that he did not want to get out or there was something there that he was trying to protect. We all know P. Diddy has been linked to high profile cases. The whole situation with Shine and, you know, when he was with Jennifer Lopez and, you know, Tupac and all this stuff, Illuminati, leave me alone. Okay, I'm just saying, I'm speaking facts on here, I'm flowing. But um, this brother right here, y'all, I'ma just I'ma just give you some of this brother right here. We are surviving P Diddy, as he would say. You know what I'm saying? Forty-five million dollar view. As he would say. Baseless YouTube automation. Uh, you channel. didn't have to do that to me, but we'll stick through the commercial. And Kevin Hart was pissed off when Dave Chappelle came out. Well, not Dave Chappelle. It was Michael Blackson. When Kev and when Kevin Hart got caught cheating on his wife, allegedly. You were supposed, you had some ties to that, and you were supposed to help help Kevin out, okay? So now Kevin Hart just put out this old ass video at one of your freak off, <laughs> one of your freak parties, and you literally, if you watch this video, I can feel like you was kind of, cause Kevin Hart was new in the game. He didn't know. He just got in the industry. You know what I'm saying? So. I can see him being forced and manipulated by <laughs> putting out. I'm trying to make it to the video. But this is how aggressive P. Diddy sound. Then you put that big ass bodyguard, bald head, Russian looking dude. This Russian uh, uh, white dude, big as a motherfucker. You know what I mean? He looked like The Rock times ten, walking around pushing uh, Kevin Hart around. And, and yo, y'all gotta watch this shit. <laughs> So Kevin Hart didn't even know that he was being groomed. They surrounded Kevin Hart. Remember when Cassie said something about the candles along the bathtub? They had candles along the bathtub. All of the high profile figures from Hollywood that you hear about all the time was there. From Fabulous to Trey Songs to P. Diddy himself. And P. Diddy was already passing around drinks that was already fixed. Drinks of Ciroc. He was making, making people drink. He was making people dance. He told his security that if they see somebody not dancing, to kick them out. Why are the ladies over here? Why are the men over here? Are you drugging people? Or like, y'all listen to this. And yo, at one point, there was like all men at this freak off. Kevin Hart released this video. Shout out to Kevin Hart, man. That's what I'm telling y'all. There's something there for Pastor T.D. Jakes. He's not who you think he is. Now, let me ask y'all a question before I close. Let me ask y'all a question. If we are always talking about, hey, when you go to black people parties, all they do is fight and shoot, or black people like to pull each other down. You know, they hate on each other. They crabs in the pot. All this stuff, right? All this stuff for them streets, right? That's why we don't go to black clubs and parties, right? So what make you think that all these same people who would bring drama to a club or a party wouldn't bring the same drama and the same shenanigans into a church house? Still the culture. With that being said, y'all get y'all one-on-one. Get y'all one-on-one. -on -one. Get y'all one-on-one -on -one with y'all higher power. Keep God first. God is moving. Thank you to all the new subscribers. Thank you for pushing my videos. I'm humble. God is good. And God is not done yet. He is not done yet. Y'all, stay blessed up. Stay prayed up. Stay meditated up. Stay protected. Stay real. Stay woke. Stay uncut. Be inspired. Be great. And be you. When it comes to these churches, these pastors, y'all, be aware Trust spirituality over religion. I say.